Uh, first, I want to thank the students for coming out. I know it was a late game. Um, and I thought they were loud and gave us a home court advantage. So thanks to the Legion of Blue and thanks to the student section. I uh, Definitely losing my voice, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Um, I thought we defended. I thought we rebounded. Uh, we, obviously, we were fresh legs, fresh minds. We had some time off between the last game and, and, and tonight. And I think you saw that in the second half. Indiana's a really good team. You know, I watched them on film. They're a great win against Michigan State. Probably should have beat Maryland uh, three, three games in seven days. And you could see that in the second half a little bit. And you could see us really reemerge with our speed and our, and our quickness in the second half. But I thought guys really stepped up. Different guys stepped up at different time. Lamar, Lamar was fighting a little bit of a cold. Um, and I think he battled through for us. That's what Warriors do. That's what, that's what guys like Mar Stevens do. But I thought guys stepped up at different times, specifically in the sec second half. And Jamari Wheeler was, the, was that engine that could. Uh, his defense, I thought, really dictated uh, a lot of this game. And uh, his pace and tempo, I mean, he, he was fantastic uh, for the, the 32 minutes that he played. Pat, you guys were kind of all over the place offensively and shooting free throws, obviously. Can you speak to the importance of the consistent defense from buzzer to bu from tip to buzzer to offset that? And how important is that at this time of year, kind of going into the stretch run? Yeah. I don't know what it is about Indiana and us at home. We just, <laughs> I think we were 11 for 25 last year. Something crazy. Uh, so, well, you know, our, our guys just got to work on routine, routine, routine when it comes to that. But the fact that they didn't allow missing shots affect their effort on the defensive end is something that I'm going to praise and focus on. Because that, to me, is everything. And the fact that we rebounded tonight. They're one of the best rebounding teams, not only in the country. I think they were t uh, top seven in Kempom, but number one or two in, in the Big Ten. So for us to be able to defend and rebound without fouling for the most part, I think is critical. And, and I'm going to say this again. I said it the other day to you guys. I still think we can get a lot better. We haven't clicked on all cylinders yet, offensively and defensively, which really – you know, excites me as we move forward here into February. Jamari has always been sort of the energizer bunny for you guys, but we talk about a lot of guys that make your team better when they're playing their best kind of game. How important is it to have Jamari kind of in that disruptor? He's played too much basketball to always compare him to Josh, but that kind of in the way constantly sort of outing. Yeah, I, I think his, and everybody, again, wants to tell you what he can't do. I think his impact on the game is critical for our success I thought he really did a great job on, on uh, the point guard, and I thought he really gave us pay, pace and tempo on the offensive end, and he came up with four steals, right? I think he had four steals. I mean, he was all over the place, five rebounds. I mean, he, he played as tough as you can as, as far as a point guard for Penn State's concerned. Pat, bear with me on this question, but I don't think I've ever seen Lamar make as bad as a – three throw as he did right before he scored his, you know he passed yeah. moved into third place did that like wake him up or something because he went on on uh, I think he scored s uh, six or seven of Penn State's next nine points after that I think he just I, we just shouted to him play with confidence you know just play with confidence don't don't even worry about that free throw Every, it's happened to everybody in their lifetime who's played the game of basketball just move on and, and go play a little, you know, get downhill, play downhill for a little while. And, and that's what he did. He had some great moves for us, great finishes. Pat, after Miles hit his first three, you had a, you know, pretty uh, excited reaction on the sideline with him. What does that say about his importance to this team and the importance of him making shots from beyond the arc? <laughs> it wasn't the shot. It was what I was yelling at him as the ball was in flight because he had just shot an air ball and he was running his lane like he's supposed to, and I was screaming at him, shoot it again, shoot it again, shoot it again. And guess what he did? He shot it again and he made it. I think when you give your players that type of confidence, the ball's gonna find its way in the basket. And I give Miles credit for wanting to take that shot. What, what does it say about you, though, to, to insist on that, to, to keep these guys pushing through, something like that? I think it's important that they know that I have confidence in them and I have their backs. You know, if they didn't feel that, well, he's probably not going to make that shot. Or he's not going to play as well as he has been playing on the defensive end. His defense has really gotten terrific. And he's really making smart decisions 
on the offensive end, even though he's not making a ton of shots. I, I, th I, I feel like those couple makes that he had tonight is really going to open up, open things up for him. Coach, uh, can you talk about uh, Curtis's play over the last two games and how on a night like tonight where him getting going in the first half kind of helped that offense out when maybe it wasn't going as strong as usual? Yeah, again, proud of Curtis, obviously former team, and that always <laughs> can go one of two ways, right? And it went, I think it went well for us. We needed his production in the first half. And again, he's had some really good practices. This is what seniors are supposed to do. They're supposed to rise to the occasion, and he has done that. And his defense is getting a lot better, too. So he made big shots for us, made big plays for us in the second half. He's got to continue to do that. Uh, Pat, your team had, uh, what was it, 15 total steals tonight. Three different guys had four steals. And Archie Miller was just in here saying that the half-court defense that your team played really threw off their half-court offensive sets. And was that uh, an emphasis going into this game? Were you preparing to kind of jump the passing lanes like that? And how, what was your overall impression of the half-court defense? You know, it was just really about our foundation. That's what Penn State basketball is. We're supposed to defend and rebound. We're supposed to play hard. We're supposed to be jumping to the ball and, and communicating. When we're loud and communicating, you're just building so much trust out there that guys in the right spots, and then their anticipation, because they have a clear head, you, you, you know, the anticipation out there to have 15 steals is, is pretty remarkable because we haven't had that many steals in a while. What did you think of John's play tonight? I think John has been a rock. He has been as steady as they come, and he's got confidence on the offensive end now, and we're throwing the ball to him. We have to continue to do that. I mean, he obviously defensively does a great job, and I thought he did a really good job on their bigs because I'm really impressed with their bigs. I think um, Jackson um, Davis is fantastic. He's got a bright future. Um, Bronk is really, really good, really talented, had some big games for them. And the fact that John, Lamar, Mike, and, and Miles was playing a little bit more than four than Seth Lundy, I thought they did a really good job of, of defending their bigs. And John, John's a big reason for that. I guess to that point, Pat, you talked before the game about Indiana kind of playing with a more old school style, having you know two bigs on the floor at all times. I guess what was the plan to try and address that? And were you happy with the way that that kind of came to fruition over the course of the game? Yeah, obviously we're, we're happy when you win. Um, I'm sure I'll watch the film and we gotta we can get better in certain areas. I thought the ball pressure was good, and I thought our bigs, for the most part, didn't just sit behind. When you just sit behind, they're gonna have a field day because they're great finishers. So we did a good job of that tonight. It felt like Mike had a pretty impactful game despite the numbers that he actually had. How do you get him to be happy with a performance like that where maybe it doesn't go in, but he's able to do a lot of things because it seemed like he was pleased and you look at the score and it didn't feel like one for seven because he was doing so many other things. Yeah, it, d it definitely didn't feel like one for seven. I thought he was playing very aggressive. I thought he was in the stances on the defensive end. I thought he altered a ton of shots. He picked up six rebounds, which is good. He's got to get back to eight to ten now. We're going to need that as we move forward, but I thought his post-ups were deeper. Instead of posting up at 18 feet, he was posting up a little bit more closer to the, the lane, and, and that's what we've been telling him, and I thought he made aggressive moves. He made real aggressive moves to draw fouls. I thought that was important, and for him to shoot 60% from the free throw line it is obviously much better than what he's shooting in the Big Ten right now. I think he's shooting 47, so I'll take 60 right now, and hopefully he continues to improve and we get that a little higher. Coach, um, three big wins here in the, in the last two weeks. Uh, what's what's the biggest thing just to keep that momentum going here as you roll into February? It's our players. They're they're bought in. Uh, there's great leadership. There's great connectivity in the locker room. A real family atmosphere. There's a lot of love and trust in there, and, and I I think that's been the difference. You know, we took a little bit of a speed, couple speed bumps there, and then we came out of it nicely. But look, we're in the Big Ten. A lot of basketball to be played. You got to take it one game at a time, and we're going to a really difficult road arena on Saturday night. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Matt.